We've been hearing scurrying in the tub. Tub area. Like coming from the tub area. Okay. Um, then we started pouring bleach and hot, running hot water every couple of days. And that's kind of went away in the last month, but we were hearing it after the last time we came. Okay. All right. So, Perfect. Thank okay. you. All right. So here's the shower wall here. So the tub that she's referring to is right here. This is where she's hearing the noise. You can see we've got this standalone tub here. Lots of tile around. So we're going to have to figure this out. Going to get some light in here. Much better. So we did check. They do have some of this tile. So we do have to open this up. But again, we just got to figure out where the entry points are. So he's got some holes here. You can see the rats chewing there. A little bit of rodent activity. There's definitely a runway here. Look at the rats chewing here. So here's the other side inside the shower. This is that one area. Looks like they placed a glue trap. You can see the grease marks here though. That's nasty. We've got our rat dog here. He's ready for any loose rats. You ready to catch some rats? You sniffing them out? You sniffing them out? Come on, we gotta get to work. We gotta get to work. Come on. We gotta get to work. Come on. We gotta place the drop cloth. We're trying to set our drop cloth, but this dog's not allowing. He keeps chewing on the on the drop cloth. I'm gonna turn that boy into a rat dog for sure. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our smoke machine ready to go. There's some vents up here up on the roof and we'll do each of the vents that's related to this bathroom. Here's the outside window too. Here's where the tub drain is right underneath this rock walkway here. We're gonna go ahead and insert smoke in the tub vent. All right, so we got smoke coming out of here, so we capped it off. Now we're getting smoke out of here. We gotta cap that off. All right, let's head down to the bathroom and that kitchen area and see if we're getting any smoke inside. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Any smoke, Victor? No smoke at all. Nothing yeah. yet? No. Okay, we're gonna walk into the bathroom. Ooh, the bathroom is definitely hazy. Ooh. All right, we're definitely getting smoke inside here. It was burrowing out a few minutes ago. There's definitely smoke up there, but now we're gonna go ahead and use our little trick here, little hack with the vacuum and extract the smoke out of that hole. So we're gonna do that right now. So that vacuum trip to help you guys, see how we've got the smoke now coming through this hole. So we know there's a breach somewhere in there. That's smart, very smart. So because we don't have access, even we had a hard time with the vacuum, we're gonna make a small incision right here, right above this tile, and then insert our micro camera down the wall while we're doing the smoke test to see exactly where that breach is at. So that would be the most non-invasive because again, we're trying to prevent from opening up tile, which it looks like we're gonna to have to in order to get to the repairs. But for right now, during this investigation, we're gonna open up that top portion. Some of the signs of Scratching your walls in a bathroom is odor, noises, chewing at night, slow drainage. That's also a sign that you've got sewer rats. So any of those type of signs, be aware and move quickly because these rats can cause a lot of damage inside those internal walls and ceilings. I'll try and remember that. All right, we're gonna go turn the smoke back on and see where it comes up. There's that one hole, you guys, from the inside that wall. Okay, we're getting some smoke here, but it's coming from the top, guys. So it doesn't look like it's coming from the bottom up. It looks like it's coming from the top down. I love when those little hacks work. See how it just extracted that smoke? These sewer rats make you smarter on every job, guys. It just makes you think. So we come up with these little strategies and these techniques because we do so many of them that it makes you have to think outside the box. So I'm gonna get the ferret camera inside that wall and see what we can do to investigate exactly what's going on. But kind of good though that it's coming from the top, we don't have to impact that tile, so the customer's gonna be super, super ecstatic about that. Well, that's good news. All right, so this is the, uh, it's hard to see on camera, guys, but we're gonna go ahead and introduce the smoke again into the system and see what we can do to find. But it looks like it's coming, there's a stud there, so we can't get the camera all the way up, 
But this is the visual that we're getting right now. He's turning on the smoke machine right now. So let's give it a few seconds here. But right, yeah, we're getting smoke here. So there's a laundry wall behind here. We're gonna investigate that a little further. So let's head to the laundry room. So here's the laundry right here, and this is directly behind that tub wall. Shower's over there on that wall. Next strategy would be to remove these out of our way, get to that wall, make an incision in that wall, and see if the smoke is rising from there up, or if it's still coming from the top down. So we need to make that determination. Again, I'm doing all this because I don't want to have to open up any tile if I don't have to. It's a workout. Time to get serious, dude. All right, while we're on the pipe, I see the pipe right here. Open this up a little bit more to this corner here. A few moments later. All right, so we've got this exposed, but I think that hole that we have in the shower is on the other side of that beam. So this is what we're facing. All right, let's go ahead and introduce smoke again, guys. See what we get smoke maybe on this side, migrating to the other side. We're gonna determine that right now. Okay, tell Enrique to tap on the pipe that he has the smoke inserted in. Oh, here we go. We're gonna have to open that up here, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're on to something, we're close. There's material here that's just blocking us from getting access. Now that we found the vent, unfortunately today I don't have my sewer camera. It's on with another job and another technician. So we're gonna use the ferret camera to see if we can detect any breaches inside that vent up on the roof. So let's see what we can find. I'm right there on it. You can see it? Yeah. That's the one I was talking the, the one that we can see. There. Yep, there's a breach right Point if you can, Enrique. Let's see right there. There. I wish you guys can see this better, but down about I don't know 12 inches or so, there's a hole. So that hole in this pipe is allowing them in that space. Can't be having that now, can we? Hey, Enrique. Yes. I have a good idea. Yeah. Go down below in the shower where that hole is, mm -hmm. and go shine this brightest light here, and I'm gonna see if we see any light inside the vent here so let's let's try that look at the light right there inside so that confirms our breach right there yep see bam there's definitely a breach right there really really can't believe that worked i love being creative like that and when it works it feels good okay so we got some wire here attached to our ferret camera and we're gonna slide it down to where the breach is and we'll monitor it here. There's the opening right there, top of my screen. You see the brown right there? The chewed up pipe, right there. Yep, they chewed right through that vent. All right, I just got off the phone with the client and he opted for the stainless steel tubing down that pipe. He doesn't wanna to have to open up wood or his roof and go through there. So we're gonna shut that down there we're gonna coat it with Flex Seal and then we're gonna monitor for two to three weeks and see what happens. We're also gonna set some traps up because he said definitely a live rat that got caught on that glue trap and escaped. So you could see Enrique here getting the wire mesh and then we'll coat it just for the elements with the Flex Seal. We'll shove that down that vent pipe. And I know there's some plumbers watching this going, well, what if you have a drain stoppage and we gotta go up there and access that? Well. I'd rather take apart a P-trap or do something else to get access to the pipe versus uh, dealing with these rats for sure all day long. So just one of those things that has to be done in order to prevent the rats from coming in. Weird, I did a sniff check on the, these vents. Uh, when I first got on, I didn't smell any type of rat urine or droppings but you can see the scratches in the inside so sniff check is not always 100 percent accurate i told enrique to make sure he sizes it but he thinks that it's going to fit I guys i think he's wrong look at that watch 
Oh yeah. <laughs> See, he doesn't listen. These guys don't listen to the patrons. And now he's all embarrassed. Look at he's embarrassed, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Enrique. Let's just all let's all watch Enrique guys and see how he because he was very upset with me. Said, Jimmy, I got it. I got it. Gotta make another one. You had one job. All right, so Enrique made a new one here, guys. Let's see if it fits this time. Oh yeah. There we go. Spray the rest of this. Okay, we're gonna do some exclusion work up here. We're also gonna place a rat trap up here. Do some exclusion work inside this bathroom where we made the hole. So we'll cover some of that holes as well and uh, stop the migration. Customer is super ecstatic that we don't have to touch his tile. So hopefully this resolves the issue. If it gets more aggressive, then we're gonna recommend putting in a rat blocker device. They're stainless steel, marine grade type material with some great teeth so the rats can't chew through it. So we're super excited to introduce that here in the next coming months here. But uh, I think we got this one. All right, so we're gonna use the dog food that they have. Just put a little bit there under the bait tray there pretty locked in there. I like using dog food uh, versus peanut butter in this situation, just because of monitoring. We don't want the peanut butter to dry up and we have to constantly come back and forth to rebate. So with the dog food, it'll last a little bit longer. Rats, as you know, love cat and dog food. Okay, so we've got our rat trap there. Then we're gonna cover that hole from the shower. That was a great find, guys. I did this all by myself today. Dave's on vacation on the beach, living it up while I'm working here chasing rats. So we have twin telepathy. I want you guys to know that. So I'm gonna go ahead and think here about him doing the rat dance on the beach. Let's see if he stops and thinks about it and then does the rat dance. So here we go. Dave, do the rat dance if you're on the beach. Dave. Do the rat dance if you're on the beach. Dave, do you hear me? Do you feel me, Dave? Do the rat dance on the beach. The rat dance! Jim, here's the rat dance! As you can see there, all of the detective work that's required in order to really win the battle over these sewer rats. It's incredible what they're capable of doing, what they can chew through. So having the right tools, the right skill set, having some knowledge is really the most effective way in order to zero in and pinpoint the exact entry point. So I'm super happy with this episode. Uh, hopefully you loved it and leave those comments, hit that subscribe button and We'll see you on the next one.